What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Mr. Von, Mr. Von's channel, Sweatbox. We back, we live, we active here on the channel. Yes, indeed. And it is that time for our first in our last series of the final six episodes of Game of Thrones. That's right. Season 8, Episode 1, called King's Landing. I believe that's what it's called. If I'm mistaken, you guys will tell me in the comments. But I think it's called King's Landing. Season 8, Episode 1. It doesn't matter. The final season. The last six episodes is here. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. I'm going to try to get this done in under 15 minutes. Let's go. So we start with the um, with the recalling of the Season 1, Episode season one episode 1 opening. And Danny and John marching into Winterfell with her army at her back they're marching in together we get the reunions I love how we saw the little kid seeing from his perspective call uh, with the callback to Arya and Bran doing the same thing when they saw King Robert riding up the Winterfell all the callbacks from the season one episode perfect I loved it um, the reunion of Bran and John Arya John all the reunions were great let's get into that um, one of my favorite ones <laughs> Was Arya and John? You know, saying that was just such a great reunion. They met at the Weirwood Tree. Uh, I loved. He was like, "You still got the sword?" Yeah. She's like, "How did you survive being stabbed in the heart?" He's like, "I didn't." It was just a, a the fact that these haven't shared, these two haven't shared a, any screen together. They haven't shared any screen night together since season one. Yet the minute they were back together, it was just click. It was like, "Yep, this is what it's meant to be." I loved it, but I also loved. Despite all the love, there's still that tension. Because Arya sided with Sansa on the mistrust of Danny, And I like that. I like that. That's a good story. I have my cousin who does not like how Sansa... She, she, he doesn't like Sansa, period. But he definitely didn't like Sansa uh, not trusting Danny. And I understand. Because Sansa hasn't seen what they've seen. Sansa hasn't seen the Army of the Dead. None of them. And I love the whole scene of how the North is just really upset with Jon. Um, for bending the knee. If I'm John, I'd have been like, hey man, did you guys see those two dragons? Outstanding, right? They're going to be great defense in the battle. You know what? She had three. Guess what happened to the third? It was killed by the Night King. It's not a fucking game, people. I need people to understand that it's bigger than the Seven Kings. I really do need people to understand that. And I hope they get it. they're going to pick this up because... It's extremely frustrating to see people continue to squabble over the little things when there's a giant army of murderers walking towards you. But I digress. Um, I love the scene of uh, of Sansa talking to Tyrion. Their reunion was great. It was nice. Sansa's so defensive. You could tell that she wasn't upset to see Tyrion. But I love how she was like, you believe Cersei? I used to think you were the cleverest man alive. I was like, <laughs> Sansa, is Sansa the smartest person in Winterfell all of a sudden? <laughs> uh, we really went all over the map. We really checked in with everybody really quick. I really liked this episode. They did a lot with just a little bit of time. Um, another scene that I was really in love with, we checked in with my man Bronn down in King's Landing. I want to talk about Euron. We're going to talk about Euron for a second. Um... But when Kyburn, I'm jumping all over the place, so I'm not in no specific order, just so we're clear. When Kyburn came into the room, when Bronn was with the three hookers, <laughs> and, she, and he gave the crossbow that was used to kill Tywin, he gave the cross. I believe that's the same crossbow. When he gave the crossbow to, to, to Bronn, and Bronn was like, this fucking family. <laughs> At that moment, we were all Bronn, because I was like, for real. Cersei holds a grudge. I mean, I understand, but man, the level of evil and pettiness, jeez Louise. Now, stand on topic of Cersei and Stan and King's Landing, my man Euron. <laughs> my man's pursuit of Cersei, I'm going to give him props. He's really working for it. She's a beautiful woman. I'm going to leave it at that. She's horribly evil, and she's terrible. But man... 
it mu I it must be amazing. That's all I'm gonna say because the way she gets men to just bend over backwards for her, I'm telling you, man. She must have some magic between her legs. I ain't mad at her. She's a terribly evil person, though. Extremely evil. Can't be trusted. But um, that whole scene with Euron, Euron just has, Euron gives zero fucks. The way he was like, my bed was, was that better than the Kingslayer? <laughs> I was like, bruh, you got no chill. You got no chill. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to talk about? I'll talk about Theon going to rescue. Shouts out to Theon for going to rescue his sister. You know what I'm saying? I loved how that whole, while it was quick and they, they kind of rushed through it, the point that they were trying to do was made. He rescues uh, Yara. Yara's going to go hold down the Iron Islands. And Theon's going to ride for Winterfell and fight at Winterfell in the Battle of Winterfell. How much good is he going to do? He's basically just riding to his death, if you ask me. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, let me see. We got John and Danny on the dragons. They took a ride together on the dragons. That was dope. I loved how she was like, Danny, John was like, what if it doesn't like me? Well, then it was nice knowing you, Jon Snow. So that was a good scene, taking him to the waterfall. You had to do that to, to, to build up. You had to have those moments to build the John and Danny romance. Um, let me see what other scenes did we get. The, the scene with Arya and the Hound reuniting. <laughs> I love when the Hound was like, hey, man, you left me to die. She was like, I robbed you, too. <laughs> I loved it. All the reunions were great. It was They were great. They were quick, but they were poignant. They did what they were supposed to do. Arya and Gendry got back together. That was that was that was good. You could tell Arya tried to stay tough when talking to Gendry, but he broke through that. She cracked a smile at the end. She was like, "Yeah, we going to get together, boy." <laughs> so I loved that. Um I'm making sure we didn't forget anything else before I get to my one of my favorite scenes. Uh We had the scene with Bran when he told them about uh Viserion getting resurrected at the beginning. I, like I told you, I'm all over the place. When uh, Sansa and, uh, and and Daenerys had that strange interaction, Bran, he just shut it down. He's like, man, we ain't got time for this. Night King resurrected one of your dragons. <laughs> she was like, what? So it's just going down so quickly. I love how every time there was about to be conflict in something, it was interrupted by something else. Like when Jon was talking to Danny about Sansa, she was like, look, if she doesn't respect me, and then the death Racky rolled up, and which is another great scene. And she was like, "What? How many is this? How many? How many today? Like eighteen goats and nine sheep. They're not eating. What? They're not eating? No, they are eating. They just ate eighteen goats and nine sheep. But apparently, that's not enough. <laughs> so I was like, well, that preceded the dragon ride scene. But that whole scene was awesome. I love that. Um, anytime we get to see the dragons, that's cool. When John was kissing Danny." <laughs> <laughs> and he's looking out the corner of his eye, and the dragon was just looking at him like, "Yeah, what you doing to my mama, son? I see you. Better keep them hands above. Don't you? Don't you even think about trying to touch her booty? I'll burn you up right now, son." It was hilarious. I loved everything about it. It was great. Um, make sure I don't want to think. I'm gonna. I don't want to. There was so much. The reunion of, at the wall with Beric and Tormund running up on Ed. That was towards the end. I love when it was like, your eyes are blue. He said, my eyes is always blue. It was great. There were so many great lines in this. There were so many great lines in this. Tyrion talking to um, Varys. He's like, why you always got to make fun of me? Because you ain't got no balls, son. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm really going through stuff quickly because I'm trying to keep this under 15 minutes. And uh, it was a lot to cover. It's a lot to cover. I'm sure I'm going to forget some stuff. Um... What else did my what else am I forgetting? What other reunions? I'm getting to the last one, so don't think I forgot about that one. Okay, I guess we could talk about that. If I forget something else, I'll try to swing back. My favorite part of the episode though was <laughs> Daenerys meeting Sam. <laughs> as messed up as it was, because I felt bad for Sam. And he played that he played that scene great. The actor who plays Sam crush it one of his best scenes emotionally but the way it unfolded i just couldn't help but laugh i was like oh my god this show's so messed up 
it started out so good because I had forgot for a minute because I was like, oh, yeah, because you see Jorah with her. So you're like, oh, yeah, she's coming to thank her for saving Jorah. Jorah and Sam are going to have their reunion. It's great. And then you realize, oh, yeah, that's right. She murdered his father and brother. <laughs> but then what makes it worse is when Sam was like, oh, you murdered my father? Well, that sucks, but at least I can go back home because my brother's there now. She's like, ah. Yeah, I murdered your brother, too. <laughs> I was like, yo, daddy ain't got no chill. She ain't got no chill, bro. Sam was like, oh, you mind if I, you mind if I go? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and leave now. <laughs> it was that moment. Jordan looked at her. She, I was just waiting for Jordan to be like, he's going to cry in the car. <laughs> oh, this show ain't shit, bro. Oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. I'm ter I'm a terrible person for laughing. But Sam, man, he played it. That was such a great scene. That was such a great scene. And then the transition from that scene and have the emotion that Sam is carrying of just finding out his parents were murdered by Danny to then have to go tell John, yo, man, you're really a Targaryen and you're really the rightful queen. That whole scene was awesome. Because you now emotion have an emotional Sam who's like, no, you need to tell her. Because you'd be a better king than her. It was all great. You add that with the... It was just... Oh. The tension was building great. And I love how they did that. With the looming threat of the real threat of the White Walkers. This is so great. This show is just does such a good job of doing that. Right back into Westeros, man. We had a new... We had a new opening. And I loved that. That was awesome. Showing the wall down. Um... I feel like I'm forgetting some something. Else. I know I'm forgetting other stuff. I know I'm forgetting other stuff. Um, so I love how they had the little kid Umber speaking for his family, and then at the end they show him back at the at the, uh, the last hearth, and whoo, that kid was pinned to the wall with all the body parts around him when they set him on fire. Oh man, that was just visually. That was a visually stunning shot of when he set the kill on fire and then the fire spread to all the body parts and then, oh man, so cinematic. It was so cinematic. Very cinematic too. I just want to get, while it did look a little CGI, but I'm still overall going to give big thumbs up to the whole dragon ride with Danny and John. Them diving down, the, when he took that drop down into the canyon, I was like, ooh, that was good. I like that. That was all really good. Um... We saw a quick shot of Grey Worm and Missandei. They didn't really say much. And then I think we ended... I think the last shot... The, did we end on Jamie getting into Winterfell? We ended... I think we ended on Jamie riding into Winterfell. And the first person he sees is Bran. <laughs> Bran was just sitting there in the chair like, Yeah, motherfucker. I ain't forgot you. I remember everything. I remember everything, bro. How you gonna just punk me, throw me out the window, fam? That was so awkward for... I'm sure that had to be so awkward for Jamie. The, I mean, you just get there and the first person you see is the kid you tried to murder. It's going to make it tough. It's going to make it real tough. Um, but yeah, man. Otherwise, other great start to the to the great great episode. Great start to the final season. I loved it. I'm so glad we're, we're here. It's five episodes left, baby. Five more times I get to talk to y'all about my favorite show of all time. Uh, I'm sure there's something else I'm forgetting. But... We're going to wrap it up because I can't remember right now and I'm not going to remember. we got like a minute left. I told you I'm going to keep it under 15 minutes and we're going to do that. So, um, great episode. Let me know what y'all thought of it. Um, season one episode, season 8, episode 1. I think it's called King's Landing. I'm pretty sure this has been my review. You know how we do. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, until next week, we'll see y'all. Peace. Well, honey, y'all. Cause the music makes me high And if I only got one more night